So imagine we're all part of a business. And we collectively in this business are spending $10,000 a year in advertising. You got some TV and radio ads, and that's how we have to get people in because they're limited channels to advertise. <clears throat> if there's no taxes involved and we make 10% profit on what we sell, how much money do we need to make to make $10,000? million. No. 100,000. Exactly. 100,000. <clears throat> Does this sound a little bit familiar to traditional advertising? Now, to make $100,000 in our business, how much life do we have to trade? Life. Or the management of life. Time. Think about the amount of time and life it would take to generate $100,000 in profit. <laughs> to create $10,000 in marketing dollars. A huge amount, right? A really big amount. <coughs> Why do we do that? Because new customer acquisition has always been expensive. New customer acquisition has cost us. And then after we made this $10,000, we'd get a number of people that would come in, and it would be what, 1% to 5% sometimes? Does this sound familiar? One to five percent. Then the number of the one to five percent that we convert to clients would probably be smaller. Let's say, you know, one to three percent. Then after we do that, what do we get to do? Repeat the entire process. So when people say, I don't have time to build direct relationships, with future customers and stay top of mind with existing customers utilizing the web, tools, blogging, social media, and content, I remind them, where did we ever have time to do this? We just traded life for a big check and forgot how much life we traded for that to make the advertising dollars to go out. Now when it comes to the new tools available for micro and small businesses to be able to create some blogs, some content, to put ourselves in some directories, to really build relationships, it's like we forgot the cost of new customer acquisition, the cost of staying top of mind. If you've been in real estate for a while, you know no matter how great a job you did with selling the house, they forget you quickly. So you had to send out your refrigerator magnets hoping they'd remember you. Because you didn't have any other means. You didn't have a Facebook to stay top of mind and be useful in their life. You didn't have a way to create content that the average person could do. Because the only people who were on top of Google were the people with the biggest checks. You didn't have ways beyond the media. You had to try to get the media to see you. Now we can become the media. We don't have to wait for them. My first book sold a thousand copies and I never told the media. This wasn't possible before. The challenge is most people are still whining about I don't have time to get involved in this media instead of going, oh my gosh, I have an opportunity that never existed in history before. How do we adapt to use this opportunity while we have the chance? Because if you haven't noticed, Large companies are trying to look small. Yeah. Why are they doing that? Because it works. While well, small companies still haven't woken up to the fact and they're trying to look big instead of be small and powerful with what small offers. Use the competitive advantage you have. That small business is actually micro business. What will save America is micro business. So micro business needs to communicate, relate, be empowered, and vote.